Well, you're a dead dwarf. Who were you? Addis Fat. Yeah, you're one of the freaking. you? No, Dark Stranglers, that's right. There's some more coming. Let's let Darwin thin the ranks, shall we? Strangler. You're not getting away. Our green recruits need a little bit more in the way of oomph. We are not so helpless. coming guys keep them coming we're all just hanging out here having a good time it's a bit of a party no. party at Idgrad's fortress everyone's invited no. bring loot What I need is a good webbing titan to come along. Of course, I think we're done with titans. I don't think we have any titans alive anymore. I think that's what brought us to the age of... Uh, age of Legends, I think, is what we're in. First Age of Legends. Come on. Come on. We're all waiting. We're all here. Bring it, bro. Come on, bro. What are you going to do, bro? Come on, bring it, bro. Little Darwinian dwarf filtering. My dwarves need to pad their stats. Oof! I got one, but that tells me you weren't cut out for military service. didn't make it. Who was weeded out? 
Oh, old Charlie. Well, old Charlie finally bought it. Means I am out a broker. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe got some replacements in the wind. Adequate appraiser. Doc, you're an appraiser. Set a fire. Ooh. Fire it well. There we go. That'll help cut down on some of our rock. I think we'll be a okay there. at 24, but I think once we get rid of some of these corpses, we'll be fine. I think part of this just hinges on us getting our... our masonry work just moving. We really need to just get that cruising along. Six here, it looks like. Let's make sure we don't have any. So, your weapons marked for dumping, none. Armor marked for dumping, none. So, that means we've got everybody cleaned out up here at the cage trap. So, we can do this. I hit. Show me only the stuff that is. Caged. We want our prisoners. War polar bear. Uh, giant grasshopper. Experiment. I don't care if you read. There is that. Hair is getting used up, that's good. We're just waiting for more caskets to come. Old Charlie got buried. It's getting a little long on the tooth and a little old anyway. That's good. But we still have issues with all of our... Ooh, what are you guys, K? What are dingoes? Damn it. I don't care about dingoes.
What are the catapults for? Um, I will explain. Uh, hold on here. Eventually we're going to smooth this section out into a fortification. Then if anything gets past the traps like Blendex and they get hung up because we closed this bridge and they're just hanging out here because we have bait creatures here, then what we'll do is we'll drop this bridge and rather than the stone piling up down below, it'll come straight out, killing whatever happens to be in that hallway. This is also going to be smoothed out into fortifications as well, so if they somehow get past this initial trap area, we still have a way to try to clear out the hallway. That makes sense? Ooh, we have a ghost. Who are you? More importantly, who was you? Ingish. Yeah, we can get that taken care of here. Hold on. So I've got this one here handy. Add engraved memorial slab. Ingrish. And that ought to do. And it should grab from the nearest stockpile, which should be our decorated one. So all the better. So English is getting a really, really, really nice tomb. Yeah, looks like we got another one of these here. Burial BCP. There we go. As our pet cemetery grows. Our garbage disposals are rolling along. Bed, it's got a couple more beds in here. is getting cleared out of the jeweler's shop. all we're doing right now is just waiting on that we have open access to our underground areas so people should be collecting silk and stuff on their own time as well so um, we should be 
getting a rather substantial amount of silt by now. Problem is, I haven't seen one giant cave spider that's going to replenish it, so... This whole fortress might come imploding down on us here as we run out of, of, of all things cloth. And without the elves coming, or the dwarves, or any traders, uh, we're pretty much stuck with pigtails, which we probably should get a JMQ process plants. That'll get us our pigtails to, to thread at that point, so. We got cabinets. And we've got, you know, storage containers, coffers, but the question is, is are we ever gonna get to them? And we got chairs, we got a whole slew of stuff we're hoping gets processed here. So, ooh, ooh, what's this guy coming in for? Is he grabbing a bed? Yep. Someone's getting lucky, someone's getting a decorated bed. Whatever works. There's a catch to that, by the way. Dwarves favor the northwest corner. So whenever you build like a setup here to decorate furniture, have the finished furniture to the northwest of that area. The dwarves seem to scan for stuff to grab in that kind of an order. So... It's, I think it's how he, um, Tody wrote his for loop. I think all the activities are um, going, if, again, if you're assuming this is your X axis and your Y, I think it's doing for each X, then the next nest is for each Y, and then the next nest is for each Z. So I think that's how they're kind of pulling through that more than likely. So if that's the case, then it's gonna, if this upper corner here is zero, zero, then it's always gonna go X and then down the Y, X down the Y, X down the Y. And he tries to block it out in chunks, but either way, it's still gonna go from uh, left to right, top to bottom. I'm seeing a good amount of furniture flowing. This is a good sign. I see beds and stuff getting moved. This is an even better sign. But we're actually starting to lose our fortress ever so slowly. We at one point had 25 ecstatic dwarves. Now we're down to 15. We got a lot more people in the middle. We got uh, six grumpy people. So we've got issues creeping up on us. Ever so slowly, but we've got them creeping up. Let's take a look at our bar stock real quick. Bars. Let's get some more statues made. And we've got a lot of lead. Holy cow, is that a lot of lead. Sweet mother. Let's get some lead statues going, I guess. Jam cube. Lead. What can we make with lead? It isn't toxic going to kill us and something that we're not going to move ever. Suppose we go with 30 lead sarcophagi. They're dead, who cares? Lead chain strength is pretty Ooh, we could be really <laughs> eh, why not? Forge 30 lead toys. We'll export them. Yeah! That's the ticket. We're going to be the evil Santa Claus. Hey, guys, I got an idea. What? I know how we can kill off all the humans and the elves. How? We'll make toys out of lead. Poison them all. That's brilliant, but what's going to prevent our kids from uh, playing with the lead toys? Is that really going to impact our mental health any? Fair enough. Make it so. So that ought to burn through at least 60 lead bars right there. That's at least half of our stockpile. And again, if they're crappy toys, we'll just remelt them or something. Speaking of which, we should probably uh, take a look and see what we've got here that we can melt. Uh, weapons. Silver whip. I don't really... Well, let's keep the whip. Melt. Actually, you know, something like that. I got a better idea. Let's use up some of our useless weapons. Build, trap, weapons. Since nobody's ever really making it that far, but can't hurt, right? Right. Siltstone mechanism. 
A couple iron mauls. A couple copper pikes. Silver morning star. Battle axe, we we'll use that up. Business bronze fail. Blah blah blah. Don't care. Iron whips, copper spears, copper great axes, and we're done there. And let's make something decorative. Just in case we get somebody for whatever reason goes berserk in our main dining hall. Build trap. Weapon trap. Let's put something -ish right about here. Here. Yeah, right there looks good. And what other stuff can we use? We can't use malls. Throw some serrated glass discs in there. Copper halberd, a great axe. That'll do. Done. Z. Stocks. E. Large. Uh, let's see if there's anything in here that we can melt down that's not. I already marked all that, so we're good there. Nope, that'll do. Alrighty, that will tie up a little bit more miscellaneous crap on the floor. Okay, our pyrite is done. Uh, let's move on to our next material. And oh, wait, it's got to cancel those. Add pyrite. Yeah. Burn through the clear. It's my hope if we can get enough. Oh yeah, I better do a clean. bunch of rotten stuff people carrying around. Get a couple more things decorated up here and hopefully we'll burn through another material type. Wow, zero idlers. And we're falling behind in booze again. There's just too many dwarves. Too many dwarves and too many hauling jobs. I gotta use up what I've got and only dig up what I need. I guess more of this crap, right? Refuse stockpile, skulls, bones, and tooth there. And what are we mostly filled with here? Bones, bones, bones. Alright, let's do this. And hopefully we get some decorating, bone decorating jobs out of it to burn through some of that. And while that's going, our dwarves are cooking, that's good. Our dwarves are brewing, that's good too. We've got a shortage of body parts, that's for sure. Our smoothing jobs are starting to finally roll out, too. A crafter. It's been missing for a week, huh? Wait a minute. No, oh, they got no cold cases. I guess that's the guy in the. Yep. Yeah. yeah, he died in the ammo pile. Nobody ever went to go get him. 
I find that surprisingly and somewhat oddly disturbing. We knew he was there. We had two guys whose sole purpose was to pick up wounded people. So my only guess on that was is he went depressed and we didn't notice and then he was just wandering around and curled up in the corner and died. In of all places, the ammo room. That's pretty effing sad. All by myself, curled up in an ammo room. That's just wrong. Oh, we got two disgruntled dwarves, it looks like now. We're down to 12 ecstatic. So oddly enough, we are slowly coming unraveled at the seams. Hard to imagine, but we are. Are we even active on our job yet? That slab. No. That's an engraving job, so... Screw it. Crafters, everybody gets engraving. See if that prompts anybody, although we're at zero idlers as it is for the most part. Hmm, we're missing a surgeon too? missing this many people. Something suspicious going on. Making me wonder if we got a vamp lurking around here, but nobody's been found drained of blood yet, so... Just do clicks. Nope. Well, I mean, damn. That'd be convenient.
Yep, something like that. All right, uh, gents, I'm going to have to cut the live stream uh, short here. Uh, unfortunately, my wife had taken our dog, uh, Sasha, to the vet, and the prognosis wasn't good, so we're having her put down. So I will be canceling the uh, live stream here, and uh, I will probably see you guys tomorrow. So um, unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be a dark day today. So she was a good dog, but um, she's been sick for a long time, so... Time to let her uh, get some rest and some peace. So I will catch you all later. And again, wherever you are, wherever you happen to be, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Thank you for stopping by. Sorry to cut it short.